Hey, hey guys, what's up? It's Postulio's Rage coming at you from episode 2 of my Let's Play Minecraft series single player. That's right. Woo! And today we're going to try to get ourselves some mining done. That's right. So we're just going to just jump right in here and whatnot. And alrighty then, I want to make a mine. Make me a mine. Make me a miner. Alrighty. So, first things first. I am going to get myself some stuff and some things to make myself a few more thingies. Alright, here we go. Yeah, pretty much I have not done anything since I last left you guys. I'm going to take half of these planks. I don't need that many. I'm going to turn them around like the plankage. You know, because the thing is, is that I really need to get some more mining. It's like I need to get some mining done. I have honestly not done a thing because I wanted to do most of this stuff on camera with you because it kind of means a lot to me. You know what I mean? All right, there we go. We got 49 torches. And, you know, honestly, I know it's kind of boring. I know you guys don't, may, may not want to watch it entirely, but you know what? I want to talk to you guys while I'm doing this. So this will be really fun. So, all right, let's go ahead and make ourselves a oh, you gotta make ourselves a pickaxe there, Pustulio. Let's do this thing. But, yeah, I mean, I, don't ask me why. I just feel like this stuff is important. I mean, I can understand if people don't really want to watch this stuff, but you know what? To me, I find this, uh, the beginnings, you know, humble beginnings to be quite important. You know what I mean? It's one of those things that I would just love to do on camera. So we're going to go ahead and do it right here. So, all right, let's start this thing. And, uh, and as you guys know, the way I like to make my mind is a little bit different. It's like, I, I do mine so you're not going to bump your head all the way down. You can eventually put stairs into it. So, okay, we're going to take this one off, too. So, okay, anyway. So, anyway, uh, right now it is uh, December the 25th. So, I have to say, uh, happy holidays to everybody. Uh, this is going to be put up a little bit more in the future. So, unfortunately, by the time this uh, this does air, I'm more than, sh I'm more than sure that this is going to be, you know... It's probably going to be, I think, uh, you know, next month sometime. I don't know. But so you're watching this in the future. Uh, right now it, it is Christmas time. I finished working my butt off at my kiosk there. Yeah, because for all those people that know me, for those that don't, I am actually a Starbucks barista. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, in my off time, I actually uh, I play with sirens. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> and we got our first iron. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. There we go, guys. First iron on camera. Good deal. Bam, 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 bam. And all right. Anyway, back to business. Yeah. So yeah, I am a Starbucks barista, and I actually work at a uh, at a grocery store. I don't I don't really want to say the name on camera, but it does rhyme with uh, Placeway. <laughs> yeah, I'm one of those guys. Like I'm not really a Starbucks person, but all at the same time, I work for a you know. A grocery store that happens to have one of those in there, and it was busy. Our store decided to stay open this year. Uh, don't ask me why, but apparently they felt the need for uh, more business. But, you know, my favorite thing about that is that I get a chance, you know, to make some good money, too. I mean, I mean, we're not exactly, you know, working for free, guys. I mean, <laughs> money talks, am I right, you know? So, it was really busy, you know what I mean? And then we're talking, like, like... I, I just want to know what possesses a person to sit there and say, you know, it's Christmas time, and oh my gosh, did you see this? You guys seeing this? Holy snot! Oh baby, oh baby, baby, baby! <laughs> Check that jazz out, guys! Woo! Look at that—we got a spider down there. Looks like we got some lava. All right, looks like we're gonna have to tunnel back this way. So, yeah, hang on, I gotta put up a safety rail here. <laughs> That's the way to do it. And I'm going to put one right here just in case so something decides to shoot at us. Well, at least we know we're a, we know we have a big chasm underneath our house here. That's awesome. All right, back back to business here. All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nope. <laughs> All right, let's go in a couple more steps here. <laughs> let's take it about two more in. There we go. Yeah, we don't want to, you know, we don't want to take that long walk off a short pier here, you know what I mean? Yeah, you guys know what I'm saying. You guys know what I'm saying. You guys are smart. But all right, here we go. Back to business here. So at least we know where that's at. Eventually, yeah, we'll we'll do like a water vader down there, and then we'll go do some exploring. Yeah, there we go. We got ourselves some exploring area. 
So anyway, so yeah, we were uh, we we were actually very busy for it being Christmas Day. I mean, don't these people that go go into like I can understand, you know, oh crap, we need food, you know, or we need a can of beans or something like that. You know, hey, you better pop off to the store and go get one. But all at the same time, what possesses a person only to go get Starbucks coffee? I mean, I don't get it. I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, I, I love the fact that we were busy. I love the fact that, you know, I made some money, you know, and I got a chance to, you know, you know, spend some time with some people that, you know, that I'm friends with. Yeah, because most of my coworkers, you know, I'm, you know, it's like I'm friends with them. I know everybody. Everybody knows me at my store. I've been there for quite a while. I mean, almost six years. You know, you're bound to know a couple of people, you know, and I'm friends with a good deal of people there. You know, some of the new coworkers I haven't met yet because, you know, we hire so many new people. And funny thing is, is that uh, every time I always meet someone new and everyone's like, oh, you've been here so long, you're so friendly. And I'm like, yeah, I can't help it. It's a medical condition. <laughs> I can't help being friendly because my grandmother, you know, she is a wonderful lady. She used to be an accountant and everybody knew her. I mean, I remember times whenever, you know, they would, my grandparents would run into someone they happened to know, and, you know, they would, they, they'd talk to them like they'd known them forever, you know what I mean, just like, they're like, oh, hi, so-and-so, oh, yeah, yeah, and they just, they just chit-chat, you know, and shoot the breeze, like, they've always talked to this person, you know, like, nothing was new, everything was all the same, so, I'm like, wow, how do you know these people, and then my grandma's like, oh, I've, you know, I helped them out of the bank, and I'm like, oh, that's it, huh? Oh, jeez, we got another hole. Wow. Well, uh, this is this mine is not working out, is it, guys? <laughs> I keep running into crap. Okay. All right, okay, and there's no w possible way, really, to plug that up. There we go. All right, crud. All right, let's go this way. Oh, and there goes the first pickaxe. We'll go, like, maybe two out here, maybe three. I will do three just for fun. But, yeah. I was always, you know, really curious and whatnot, but my, my grandma was like, oh, I just know them from this. <laughs> you know, like she always, you know, was helping people out, you know? It was like, it was who she, you know, who she is, you know, what she did. And the funny thing is, is that, you know, she always had something nice to say about them, too, you know? I mean, my, my grandmother, she always found the best in everybody. And let me see here. I am on Y level 34. All right, so we still got quite a ways to go there, people. All right, I know this is boring, guys. But hopefully my commentary is keeping you busy. <laughs> Making you think of happy things. But, uh, you know, let's uh, let's talk about Christmas memories. That's always fun, isn't it? You know, yeah, my, my favorite Christmas memory is I was about three years old. And the thing was, is even as a kid, I loved to sleep. I loved sleeping more than anything. Sleeping was my currency, because seriously, I loved to sleep. And, he, and the funny thing was, is that we'd, we used to get up really, you know, hellaciously early on Christmas. I mean, what kid doesn't want to wake up extra, extra early? And, ooh, does this perfectly work out? Looks like this perfectly worked out, guys. You've got to be kidding me. How perfect can you get? Oh boy, I don't have any weapons or anything, so I'm going to quickly retreat up and go back to the house here. Because we, we got to the bottom of the, ch of the chasm there. Now let's make sure we're going to survive in there. Okay, I got four pieces of iron, so I, you know, I can make myself a, either, you know, an iron sword. So yeah, let's go ahead and make ourselves up an iron sword. And wait, wait a minute, what time is it? Is it, is it bright out again? We got daytime, and we got rain. Oh, bummer. One second here. Let me go ahead and lower that. Let me see your master volume. The weather. Let's just cut the weather off. There we go. There we go, guys. No weather sounds. All right. But we might have spawnage, so we better be careful. All right. Let's, uh... Let's, uh, you know, let's, let's unload our pockets here. Do, 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 do. Uh, while we're doing this, give me my iron. Close the door. We don't want to let anybody in here. All right. We're going to throw my coal in here. I know it's kind of a waste, but, you know, it's okay. It's okay. All right, we'll throw the rest of my charcoal in here. Let's have ourselves an apple. Ooh, man. Yeah, I'm famished. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, baby. 
All right, while that's cooking up, let's go ahead and look around our area a little bit more, because I know that, uh, okay, we got, we definitely got some stuff here, some things too, man. Uh, we need to, like, build a bridge or something across this little pond. You know, the funny thing is we can fish in this thing, so eventually when we get some other stuff, but right now, I need to do two things now, too. I need to get myself some seeds. We need to get a farm going while we're doing this. Okay, we're doing mines and farms today, everyone. But yeah, like I said, I just wanted—I just wanted you to see my humble beginnings here, because I, I, I like the idea of watching, and you know, anybody just start out a world, because you never know what you might find. You know, the thing is, now we found our first chasm. I mean, it is a giant ravine, so. That's already... Th Ooh, and we got ourselves some reeds, guys. All right. Good deal. Get ourselves some sugar cane going. I'm going to go ahead and start this over here, then. Come here. Yeah, come here, you. Come here, you. Yeah, my way. All right. Don't want to lose track of our area here, because I don't have any of the mini-map stuff put in yet. I really... Like I said, I want to get the mini... Uh, Ray, maybe raise mini-map put in, because I know it's kind of cheating and whatnot, but you know what? I don't care. I want to be able to see stuff, and the thing is, I honestly don't think that takes the fun out of it. It's kind of like, just so you don't lose your way, because I don't know about you, but I hate it whenever I, I lose my way. Either that, or I just, oh, guys, look at this. Woo, iron ingot. All right, here we go. Let's make ourselves up a sword. I like swords. And after this, we'll get our, let me, let me grab some couple pieces of cobble too while I'm at it. We'll make ourselves a... We gotta get a hoe! And I don't mean, you know, like a hoe ho, but a hoe. Hey, there we are, baby. Ooh, click, click. And it's time to mine. <laughs> it's time to get us, get ourselves a farm going. And I'm gonna put the farm... Ooh, I'm gonna set it over... up over right here for right now. Just because... It's a good place to get started, so we just get some food, so it's one, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, six seems like a good, you know, start here. Yeah, we gotta get a little farm going here. I'll keep these seeds just in case, because like I said, you know you don't, in 1.8, you don't get always get your seeds back. So let's keep one just in case. All right. All right, we'll throw this in there, we'll throw that in there, throw our iron in there, throw our stick. And all right, guys, we're ready to go into the bowels of Minecraft. Armed only with an iron sword, two apples, a handful of torches, and a pocket full of dreams, Postulio descends down into the bowels of hell. Let's watch. <laughs> oh, man, I'm totally going to get blown up by a creeper. I totally feel like I'm about to get blown up by a creeper. Well, we got some gold, guys. All right, let's take out some of this, some of this gravel here. You can use gravel for roads and stuff. I like actually using gravel for roads. All right, keep an eye open. Keep a weathered eye on the horizon. You can see where I placed that torch up there. So, all right. We're still doing okay, guys. We're still okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <whistles> Ouch. Oh, God. It scared me. Ouch. No, no. Back up, man. All right. All right. Here he comes, guys. Here he comes. Come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Ah, there we go. Ooh, man. He scared me. Whew. I don't know why he scared me so bad. All right. Throw a torch right there. And all right. These guys are all right. These. Okay. Good deal. Torch that up a little bit. Okay, good. And we got ourselves some iron here, guys. All right, let's try to listen. This is it, man. This is it. This is definitely it. All right, good deal. We're still good. We're still good. All right. This is kind of risky, you know what I mean? Going into one of these uh, these ravines and whatnot with uh, you know so, you know so early into the game, I usually uh, try to explore these a little bit after you know I've had some time to you know do some mining and had some time to acquire some hardware and whatnot. But whew. okay, no worries, we're fine, we're fine. All right, here 
right, here we go. There we go. All right. So we got these guys going. All right. Uh oh, I think we got a. Yep, we got a creeper right there. Got. Oh, we got two creepers. We got two creepers, guys. All right. Two creepers. Where are they going? What are they doing? Oh, he sees us. He sees us. Keep on the other side of this gravel. Keep on the other side of the gravel. Come on, baby. Come on. No, no, don't blow up. Don't blow up. Come on. on the other side of the gravel. Other side of the gravel. Yeah, I got it. No, no, don't. Don't you dare. Don't you freaking dare. Okay, come on. Come on, baby. I got you. I got your number. There it is. Oh, my gosh. Where did those guys come from? Are they up there? I think they might be up there. All right. Let's get the rest of this lapis. Now we need this lapis for later on whenever we get a get an enchanting table. All right, there we go, guys. Whew. All right, put a torch in there. All right. Okay, I think we're fine. You know, I honestly, I feel like I'm I'm like robbing a bank almost because <laughs> I'm so worried. I'm like looking over my shoulder here. We got ourselves a real nice cache of iron here. This is really awesome. I wish I could get this, you know, this gold right now. But the thing is, I know we can't get the gold yet. I know, I know what I'm doing. Don't worry, guys. I know what I'm doing. Oh, man, I'm so nervous. Because I'm just waiting for that right behind me, and I'm not going to be able to run. And I'm going to get blown sky high. All right, good deal. All right, we're fine. We got that going. Okay. All right, guys. Let's uh, venture a little further here. Oh, man. I am so freaking nervous. Oh, oh man. Dang it. Dang it, Pastulio. Right. What a doof. <laughs> Didn't know there was water in front of him. Alright, there we go. Ah, boom. Alright, gotta get this. Gotta get this place torched up better. Alright, here we go. We got some more. Okay, 29 iron. That is a very good start. We almost have ourselves enough for a full set of armor. I think it's like 34 you need or something like that. Oh, look at that. We got some... Got some more coal here. This is going to be good. Especially when we get a fortune pick, too. That's going to be really nice. Look at this iron just like right up in the side of this hill right here. Look at this. Isn't this awesome? It's like here for the taking. Okay, I think after these blocks right here, we need to head back up. We need to get the smeg out of here. All right, I think we're good. Oh, you know. mm. <sighs> Come on, Puss, let's go. Okay, yeah, pickaxe is almost gone. Uh, getting hungry. Yeah, and we got. I think did we get some bones out of him? No, we only got a. We only got an arrow out of that one guy. Jeez, what a jip. But all right, we have ourselves enough iron to make a set of freaking armor. This is going to be awesome. All righty then, let's head back up and we'll see our spoils. Here we go. Oh, and it's nighttime again. Oh, nice. I'm going to yeah, put the gravel up. Here we go. <laughs> put the gravel up. Don't let them in. All righty then. So in which case, let's go ahead and we'll separate these guys. One, one there. Put some coal in here. We'll do one there. All right, let's have ourselves a little dinner. A couple of apples. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There we go, baby. All right, well, at least we got a chance to use our iron sword and whatnot. We have ourselves, you know, a uh, good deal of ore. Why don't I go ahead and cut the video right here for a second just so we can wait for this iron to cook up. Once this iron finishes cooking up, I'll bring you guys back, okay? Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, welcome back, and I have enough now. It apparently, it was 24. I went ahead and redid my math and whatnot, so all right, check it out. We're going to go with the iron chest plate. We're going to make ourselves some smoking iron pants. Don't know how I'm going to put those on since they have no bend in the knees. Some swagging boots and a nice thing to cover my melon. All right, here we go. I'm going to put that on. Ooh, doggy, check me out. Ooh, I am styling. Woo-hoo, ha-ha-ha-ha.
<laughs> All right, good deal. And also, let's uh, go ahead and end this off with grabbing the rest of my iron out of here. Let's go and make an iron pickaxe. That's a good way to end episode two, I think. You know, with a nice iron pickaxe. Like I, said, I, I don't, I can't think of a better way to end an episode like this. That's watch out. And all right, boom! Check it out, baby. That is an iron pickaxe. If I ever did see one, and all right, check it out. Iron pickaxe. Iron sword, iron pickaxe, iron sword. I love it. So anyway, guys, I guess this is as good as part as any just to go ahead and call it a day. I know, I hear you guys out there. Boo, we want to see more. Well, you know what? Stay tuned. The next episode will come before you know it. So until next time, guys, don't forget to smack that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already subscribed, come on, subscribe to my channel. Stop fighting it. Just subscribe. Become a minion of Pastulia. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Go, on and go by the CyberDog Nation server. Go and say hi if you can. Or if you're on dogcraft.net, don't forget to say what's up, guys. So anyways, until next time, everybody, this is uh, Iron Pick High Five. And until next time, everybody, I'm going to say laters.